Hi there, I'm Michael Neely, the Director of Laboratory of Applied Pharmacokinetics at the University of Southern California in Los Angeles. And today, as part of a P-Metrics tutorial, I want to give you just a very basic understanding of the differences between scripting in R and the console in R. Now what I'm showing you here is RStudio, which is the interface that I prefer to use for R. It serves as a wrapper around R. It's a nice programming environment. It's freely available for both Mac and PC. I run a Mac, um, so what I'm going to show you is what RStudio looks like on a Mac. I'm also going to show you what the native R graphical user interface or GUI looks like on a Mac and on Windows. Let's do that now. Here's what you get when you open the native R application without any kind of wrapper such as RStudio on a Mac. This is the R console window. If you want to use the scripting, you say new document, and here's your script window here. And we're going to review the differences between scripts and typing into the R console when we talk about it using the R Studio example. And here's what you get with the Windows version of R. To make a new script, you simply do that. Here's the script window. Here's the console window. OK, we're back. And this is our studio. So the scripting window can be accessed with new R script. And here it comes. This part down here is called the R console. It's the live portion of R. This is where the commands get sent and executed and the results are reported back to you. The upper window here is where you can write scripts. Now the difference between scripts and the R console is something that you type into the script is it's essentially a text file, a text document. The commands are not sent to the R interpreter until you actually manually execute them. And then R will do what you've told it to do in the script and return the output to you in the R console window. You can save scripts, you can edit them, you can close them, you can load them again for later. They serve as a written documentation of a series of commands that you have sent to R. In contrast, the R console is the direct communication to R. So anything that you type into the R console is immediately going to get executed. Now let's look at the difference with some examples. So I'm going to flip down here to the R console. I'm going to click on it so it's active, and you can see my blinking cursor. And I'm going to just type a very basic R command. I'm going to assign the value of 1 to the variable a. And you can see that I hit return and it just moved to the next prompt. But actually, if I type the name of that variable a, r is going to return the value 1 to me. Now, what happens if I do it up in the script? So if we move up here and we click to make it active, let's assign the value of 2 to the variable b. And I can push return. And notice at the bottom of the window there, nothing happened. R doesn't know about my assignment of 2 to the variable b. But if I put my cursor back on that line again, and in R Studio I click Run, now look what happened down in the R console. I got a b equals 2, or b is assigned to, uh, 2 is assigned to b, and then the prompt telling me that R is ready for the next command. If I want to see what b is, ass is assigned to, what value is in b, I can do it in two ways. I can go to the R console and type b and return, and it now returns the value 2. I can still type a, it's there, but I can type b and it's 2. Or I can go to my script, I'm now in the top window here, and I can just type b. But again, it doesn't happen immediately. I need to execute this line. I hit run, and it's just as if I had typed B directly into the R console. 
Now obviously for a simple example like this, you don't need to have a script. But we can do things that are more complicated. I'm going to erase these things now. Now just because I erased it from the script doesn't mean it isn't gone from R. I still can type A or B or I can use the R convention to catenate things together to make a vector of objects. I can type C, open parentheses, A comma B, close parentheses, and it's going to give me back the value for A and the value for B. But let's type something just slightly more complicated in my top window, in my scripting window. So let's, for example, assign the values of 1 to 5 for A, and we will make B assigned to, uh, let's say, 2. We'll make a sequence of the numbers 2 to 10 by 2s. Okay? Now we're getting a little bit longer. Maybe you wouldn't have wanted to retype that every time, and we can click up here and execute run. A is now 1 to 5. B is a sequence starting at the number 2, ending at the number 10, and going by counting by 2s. And we can go to the R console and type A, and we can see that A is a vector of 5 elements, the numbers 1 through 5. B is a vector also 5 elements long, but it's the even numbers from 2 to 10. We can go back to our scripting window and use another command in R called plot. And we can just say plot y equals a, x equals b, and see what happens. We're going to execute that command now. And here in our plot window in RStudio, we can see the plot where b is indeed the x-axis and a is the y-axis. Again, the advantage of the script window is that you can maintain a record of all the you, work that you've done, and this is particularly useful in p-metrics, as you'll see in another tutorial about the workflow that can be done in p-metrics. You can keep track of all of the analytic runs or simulations that you do with comments that allow you to describe the characteristics of each run. That's it for now.